uh, I wanted to, I had an idea in my mind that I wanted to make a mold, 3D print mold that I can do, that I can cast resin in them. After three failed attempts, and, they, and it all failed just because uh, I wanted to use a household item, so I, I used the silicone to get the molds. First of course I tried to put the resin inside, I put a lot of baby oil and I put uh, I put baby oil basically, I didn't have I didn't put silicone uh, spray in them. I put a lot of baby oil but it's still stick and I believe it's just because of course uh, baby oil is not supposed to it's not like a resin releaser I think they call them and of course the print the print inside they have a lot of grooves and a lot of things and for sure the resin went there and it was very difficult to unstack them. So I, I will make those uh, files available for free so you can download if you have the right material to do it. I wanted to make something simpler. Instead of using silicone, I will just use the, uh, the mold itself. I'm gonna put the silicone in the, the resin inside and then I'm gonna break the mold of it. I can always sand it down or something. So basically this is one, one time uh, per, uh, mold. Just because I don't have the right materials right now and I wanted to do that I wanted to have I wanted it to make that you can use just all the regular household items to make a mold and put a little bit of resin to make something cool. Like I said I tried to use a household silicone to to get the you know to make the mold and then put the resin inside the silicone. But the, it just sticks. I don't know why but it sticks to the print. I put a lot of baby oil, a lot of silicone spray but it still stick maybe I don't have the the right releaser for the silicone because I've, I know that people use a uh, silicone to do molds but more simpler I wanted to do something more complicated so instead of making it so complicated I'm gonna make it so simple that we can just you know this doesn't have much material I think 40 grams of uh, filament to make this tool and we're just gonna break them off from the mold and hopefully it will come as a nice shifter this is a this will be a honda shifter with a honda thread pattern 10 by one and a half but of course not everything went to a waste i did use this bacno classic silicone papex this is like for your kitchen or for your bathroom you know on the end of your sink a white silicone and this silicone seems to release without a problem of course I 3D printed first the, the, the mold which will be again available for free and I pour this silicone inside and I press, press it to make me this mold and then I got my uh, liquid glass and I put the liquid glass inside of this this mold and this mold is very, that was my point to have the silicone just because it's very flexible and this one worked without problem so probably if I had more of this one I could probably instead of using the normal household silicone, use that one for this here and it probably would release because it seems like a little bit different silicone from the other one but like I said, we want to make something I made a nice Honda emblem again it will be available for free whoever wants to do a proper job so yes, we're gonna try to do this one this should not so be so difficult but I'm gonna make something cool out of this what we, what we all, when 3D print, when you are 3D printing, what we all have in common? Supports and a lot of uh, weighted material. So I'm gonna use the material and I'm try, gonna try to cast it inside. So we're gonna make like a nice shifter that has a filament inside. So let me mix. Let me see how I'm gonna do that now. So for this to work, let me use a little bit of baby oil and silicone. I'm gonna use silicone spray first. I don't know if this is the right, right spray, but I will do for now. And now we're gonna use our favorite baby oil. Oh, too much. It's fine. Just to get it all inside the pores and everything. Hopefully, somehow it will release. No, this the filament really absorbs the oil. The other thing that I noticed, like I said, this filament absorbs this oil with a like like a sponge so maybe in the oil instead of letting it release it takes it uh, inside the plastic okay so just because last time i attempted it and 
I had a lot of uh, resin leaking out so now I just use hot glue all around just to keep everything inside here we're gonna get our fail clean supports we're gonna cut them in small small pieces This resin doesn't have much bubbles, but you, if you have any bubbles, I figured that that would be a heat blower for the hair. Hair blower, you can get rid of them. And let's start pulling. I'm gonna pull a little bit and then we're gonna add a little bit of the filament. Let's see what kind of thing we can. After using the drill and I took a very rough file as you can see very rough file to make it all stuff. Now we're gonna use a little bit of clay coat to fill some of the gaps and we're gonna sand the clay coat out and I think I do like that. So I, I left some of the imperfection in just because it will remind me that it was my mistake how I did it and I should I should I should have done it a little bit better. But I like how it came out you can really see all the all the filament inside i like how it came out like i said next time i will do a little bit different i probably use the proper material and the other thing the other thing that i did as you can see this is a lot like i said this was meant to be bro broken off so i broke every little piece it was not so difficult it took, it took me a little bit half an hour but it was a little bit of pain and the other thing i did as you can see underneath there's a lot of uh, resin in the in the, in the box in the, in the, the container that's because I did not seal properly this one and it leaked me all. It's supposed to be a little bit taller, but like I said, the resin leak, leak, uh, the resin went out. Leak, uh, leaked, the resin leaked out. So that was my mistake, not properly sealing it. But like I said, from our mistakes we learn, and that's how I always go about life, that <clears throat> my mistakes always will make me better of, of what I'm doing, and my mistakes will always correct me the next time I'm gonna do something like that. So like I said, I'm gonna make everything available for free if you want to do it. <clears throat> if you don't have experience, I, could, I highly recommend using a mold releaser. Because from what I can see, the baby oil and the silicone that I use, instead of uh, protecting the <clears throat> protecting the mold not to stick to the, to the resin, the only thing it did, it was it soaked inside the plastic. Maybe that's why you don't, you do, some people don't use plastic and use silicone molds. <clears throat> but I wanted to try and like I said, if you really want it, there is a possibility, there is a way to do it. You may waste a little bit more material, but there is always a way to do it in, in the house. So now I'm gonna use a bunch of tea for just to fill a little bit more. And then we're gonna sand it down and we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna polish it up. I guess the yellowness is to took the pigment from the from the filament. I, I really dig how it came out. You can really see all those those things inside. You can see the aftermath. I really I don't understand. Like I said, it's <coughs> it's stuck to the. But like I said, I intended it to stuck to the to the mold, so without having using it like a cheap baby oil and using like a silicone spray, I don't even know if it works properly. What we can do, like I said, I sometimes I try to use materials that I have around the house, but they not always work out. In this case, we're gonna see. Like I said, for one time, yes, but if you want to do a lot of them, I don't think this will be a good idea. 
like I said, I wanted to see how resin works and how everything like that works. I'm happy with the result. I really dig how it came out. You can really see all the layers. And like I said, in the future, I want to exper experiment with forged carbon. So we're gonna do some a shifter in a forged carbon, but that probably not yet. Maybe it's something like the end of the year, just because I need to gather the budget for it because it's not cheap to do forged carbon fiber, and I don't want to mess it up. So I want to buy all the proper releases and everything. So after polishing this concludes our project for this time, I really do like how this came out. In a moment we're gonna go and put it on the car, but I just wanted to give you the result after polishing it. Really nice, I really like how you can see all those different things inside. You can see the old, yeah, I mean the mold, part of the mold here, that's why I like it, you can even see it around here. So yeah, I really like, like I said, I wanted to show in this one my mistakes what I did. And it really, I really like how it shows. Even here on the top, we have a little bit of grooves. But like I said, just because we were miss missing some resin just because it leaked out. But really nice. It has a really nice feel. I'm gonna go and put it in the castle. We're gonna see how it feels there. Like, if you, you can always change the, the thread size here if you want to make it for a Toyota or Nissan, whatever the car you have. You can always change it and put another one. But this one came really nice. You can see how it shines. It has, I think I added five coats of clear on top of it. Let it sit for a day and then sand it down with uh, 1,500, 2,000 and 3,000 with some paper. And then use the 3M, then use the 3M Perfect uh, Ultra Fine SE. You can see this is the, the, the finished one, 50383. And it came really nice. Like I said, a lot of mistakes were done, but what can we do? I really like how this came out. It's perfect for whoever has 3D printing and wants to do something cool for the cars. This is a really nice shift map. You can put whatever you can put, uh, even a whole print inside if you want. Just print something small and print it. Like I said, it could be done differently for sure. I'm not an expert for time trying, so sorry for my mistakes. But uh, from mis from uh, mistakes we learn. So in the next next uh, time if I will do this one for sure I will be much more prepared and maybe the other thing uh, a good idea would be to or clear coat the inside of the mold or use the actual resin and coat the inside of the mold so the the baby oil or the silicone whatever the oil whatever the mold release you have will not leak to the plastic because i think that's what happened because it was very oily outside but it was almost dry inside so i have the feeling that all the baby oil and the silicone that i added just soak in the plastic and it dried on the inside and next time maybe leave it a little bit longer to dry because I remove it, they're supposed to dry for uh, 4 to 7 days, I just remove it after a day and it was still a little bit soft but it, it came really nice, I really like how it came it has a nice feel to it, I could have done something like a Honda here but I don't have a big enough drill or something to make to hone this hole to fit a little bit bigger bigger or Honda logo or the Honda shift, um, shift pattern yeah, I'm gonna make uh, all the files that I make, I'm gonna make it available for free, someone may do it and I, I do not know because I know that you, you have, there's a flexible film that you could use but I don't have it at the moment, maybe that will work a little bit better but I haven't played with that so I do not know or maybe even like I said coat the mold with a little bit of clear coat all the resin actual and maybe even coat it with like a hot glue because it seems like from a hot glue it will uh, uh, unstuck it will release much easier than from actual silicone like I said the silicone just stuck to the plastic could not do anything could not do nothing at all and this like I said this isn't a bad method but uh, it takes of course you will destroy the mold but if you're doing it for once it's always a nice idea like i said i just wanted to try to see how it is so i have a you know so i have few 
few ideas when I'm gonna do it again in the next time. I even in the other prints, in the other molds, you will have the Honda logo inside that you can do a clear Honda logo inside. And I would really I may revisit those molds when I get the when I get the proper materials. But for a moment, if someone wants to do it by now, you can tag me always in or show it on Instagram something so I can see that it worked. Not all my prints work all this all the time. Sometimes some of the ideas just don't work, don't want to take you, we just don't have the right material to do it as as what I what happened to me in this case. And it's a good idea to recycle your your material. I may do a few more of them in the future and try maybe to selling them. But like I said, it's one time mold. That is, all the files will be available for free. You can download them, print them. All the links are down in the description. Subscribe, like, and share. And I hope I will see you in the next one.